Hey everybody, it's Spook here, and we are back with our Mods Monday, and there's a car outside. Why is there a car outside? Go away, car. But as you can see, folks, we are back in the Spook Lair. That is the underground cave house. And uh, today we are going to explore a new mod, but we are not going outside today because there's a case of cows outside. So yeah, folks, today's mod of the day is the camping mod. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Spook, if we're doing the camping mod, how are we going to go outside? Why are we not going outside? Well, folks, that's a good question. And I don't have an answer for it. But yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of different stuff here. We have a long chest. We have these chests, this stuff, and this stuff. And as you can also see, we also have this cool little thing in the side. It is known as the Not Enough Items mod, and it lets you check and see the recipes and stuff, so we don't really have to do it all super fast and use up like 80 chests. So first things first, let's get into the armor. Now, as you can see, there are fur armor, and it's created by using either white fur or brown fur, sometimes both. So to make a fur, a fur helmet, you need five white fur and a leather cap, all in this arrangement. To make a fur chest plate, you need four white going across, up and down on the outsides, and then three on the bottom row. To make leather pants, it's like you would normally it's like you would normally make pants, but you use brown fur and then have leather pants in the center. And to make boots, that's right, boots with the fur, you need four brown fur and one pair of leather boots. So let's get this stuff on real quick. Ooh, look at that. I look so nice. I look so Gucci. I'm looking good, folks. Alright, so now that we got this cool stuff on, we're going to get into the awesome, fun part, which is the camping portion. So, as you can see, folks, there's a ton of cool stuff we could be using. Um, I grabbed... I didn't grab enough, actually. I didn't grab all of it. I grabbed a few different things from the items chest. Now, we will all look at them. First things first, we have the pocket knife, which is an important item, and it needs and you needed it to craft to make it. You need three iron bars, I mean, three iron ingots, and six red rose, red rose, which is pretty much red dye. And you need them set up like this, and you get you a pocket knife, and you can use it to make sleeping bags, uh, canvas, pocket, uh log seat and all kinds of other interesting stuff now let's see what we could do with it now to first okay so that's how we make that that's how we use the pocket knife I don't think it yeah it's not very useful as a weapon I'm sorry yeah it's not very useful as a weapon but then we have the lantern now the lantern let's I'm guessing helps with light like uh you know what, let's test it, folks. Um, let me see, where could I do this? I need a free hand. I need to go to creative mode. So let's go as deep as we can. Hmm. Oh, there we go. And as you can see, it's set up now. It's like a little light. It's like a torch. But it has a burn time. It works only for 750 seconds. So, yeah. God dang it. There we go. I need that anymore. And when that beautiful item is out of juice, one sec, just switch back to this so I can check. God dang it. I have to actually look it up. Lantern. And to make this item, you need six. You need five glass panels arranged in a helmet pattern, a glowstone dust, and three butter ingots. And when it's burnt out, you to make a burnt out one, you just need to do this. And to refill it, you just need to use glowstone dust. To make another one, to make it last another 750 seconds. So that's really useful. Set, you can only really set it on stuff like that. So next we have the sleeping bag. Now the sleeping bag is useful in the fact that it's pretty much a bed. 
that can be used that can lay flat on the ground like that without having to work. Now to make it, you need oops. to make it, you need where is it? I think it's on the last page. Where is it? I saw a sleeping bag. Where did I see that? Sleeping bag. To make it, you need the pocket knife and three pieces of wool. It doesn't matter what kind of wool. And it's really just useful for the next piece, which is the tent. Which I can't Oh, wait. Aw, oh, it, it disappeared. It, it disappeared. Um. Crud. I'm freaking out, folks. Okay, calm down. Don't you start. I can hear you. I hear barking. So we need a new ten. No. Ten. That's what I need. There we go, folks. Um. Put it down somewhere. Oh, there we go. And now we have a tent, and you can put your sleeping bag inside. Oh, isn't that clever? So you could use it to. Okay, so this allows you to hide your stuff pretty much. It's pretty much a basic uh, chest area where, let's say, we put. Let's say we put a lantern or we put a chest inside of it. You just need to right click. No. We just need to right click with that. And now we have a chest. We can use it to. Oh my god, look at that inventory space. So now we have plenty of inventory space and now we have a way to keep ourselves nice and lit. You can clear all, take all your stuff out and all that. That's really neat. So that's cool. Um, next, let's look into the campfire, which I think is going to be fun. Mm. So the campfire, as you can see, folks, is used by me. Ah. So let's take a look in the old too many items. To make it, you need five sticks, a flint, and a campfire base. To make a campfire base, you need four cobblestone made in a circle pattern. Or a ring, really. And the point of this, we will now get into. So as you can see, it now makes a, del a nice little spot. And if it works with what I think it does, we're going to need this for later. So we'll just leave it right there. We're not going to need this anyway. Next, we have the log seat, which, as you all remember, you use by you create by making by taking a pocket knife to a chunk of wood block and using it, you can sit down. So now we are all hunky dory, comfy, right next to the campfire. Except I'd like it to face right. I didn't think it was gonna face like that. There we go. Now we're all hunky dory, cozy next to the campfire. And it's left. Sh it's a uh, shift to get off of that. Next, we have the iron stick, uh, barbed wire, bear traps. I guess I'll get into these when I get into hunting. Uh, this is something that's going to be involved in hunting, so just stick that right there, folks. Now let's go look into the next thing. Next, we have that's that. That's, that. that's actually yeah, You know what? We can look into this. Next we have the food, which I guess I should have did a little bit more research on. We have the empty kits, which I have no idea what these are 100% are for. I think they just, yeah, they're, they are to store stuff. I'm guessing you would find them like in random villages and stuff like that. They're kind of a spawn in item because if you right click on them, you can see they have stuff to prepare food in. So we have the spit kick, the pan kit, and an empty one get off of there. Now as you see in our inventory we got raw hair, raw venison, uh, some raspberries, and some blackberries. Throw that in there. And some marshmallows. Now I love marshmallows just as much as the next day to buy. So let's cook some marshmallows. Now to you first to make marshmallows you need six things of sugar, a bottle of water, an egg, and a bowl. And you need to let me check this real quick. Alright, so now that we know how to do that, we're going to make a marshmallow on a stick. Now to make one, we're going to need three iron sticks, 
and a marshmallow. You gotta make an iron stick you made, Axe. You need two iron ingots placed like you would make a normal wooden stick. So we happen to have an iron stick, but we do not have enough. I need two more iron sticks. Or, oh, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go into here and grab two more iron sticks. Cause I'm, it's a mixture of I'm too lazy and I'm lazy enough. So now that we have all this set up, I'm gonna grab some marshmallows on a stick, throw them on here, throw them on here, throw them on here, throw them on here. You know what it might be, folks? Let's see to make a cooked one. Doesn't say. Maybe I need to do this? No? Can't eat the- oh, Pig, stop dancing! We don't have time for this. You know what it might be, folks? I know what it might be, folks. We might need a little incentive. So let's grab that, and I keep hearing scratching. Why do I keep hearing scratching and barking and whining? Okay, maybe I don't know how to cook. Um, one second, folks. Let me check something real quick. Okay, folks, we are back, and apparently I'm is not that smart because I do not know how to make this. I do not know how to cook a marshmallow on a stick. I am so ashamed. So ashamed. Because you can't use the furnace, you can't use the uh thing, so I really don't know what to do, folks. I know though you can cook raw venison and raw hair by putting them in the fi in the uh, furnace and just throwing them in. You'll get cooked venison and you would get cooked hair. Now the pan, I don't know what the pan's 100% for, folks. I'll be honest. I don't know what half of this stuff's for, folks. I am not the brightest sable in the world. I admit it. I am not a genius. Especially in this world. So, other than the canvas, other than that, there wasn't really anything else to look into except for mods, I guess. Oh, and these things that I have to use the mods for. I have to use the mobs for. My bad, I keep saying mods. So, first. Uh, let's look into barbed wire. Now, barbed wire can't be. Wait, maybe it's because. Oh, look, there it is. Now, barbed wire, as you would guess, is used to keep stuff out. And if you touch it or punch it, it works like a cactus and it hurts. I was to say, does it give you poison or something? It's also really hard to break, apparently. Thank God I'm on peaceful. So let's just get rid of that. Next, we have the bear trap. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sableye, you wouldn't be dumb enough to walk into this. Well, you're wrong, folks. I now have bleeding, too, and I cannot move until this is gone. So, now you might be wondering, Sableye, why is there a bear trap and barbed wire? Well, that's to keep these guys out. Now, if you follow me, we'll go up here and grab the special super secret stuff in this chest. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I'm not forgetting Alright, folks. So, as you can see, I have four spawns with me. These are the four mobs in El Gabi Music. Sorry. These are the four spawns that you can have in this place. They are grizzly bear, camper, deer, and hare. One moment, folks. Checking something. Alright, we are back again and... Hi. <laughs> oh god, that was perfect. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit in here. Away from y'all. So first we have the hare. Now as you can see, the hare is a rabbit. It's a lot. It's a lot like the bunnies on the new 1.10. Super cute. 
if you punch them, they run. Oh. Love me, bunny! Oh well. And as you see, if you kill a rabbit, you will get raw hair. Delicious. Next, we have a camper. Which looks like a normal player, but sounds like a villager. And as you can probably guess, folks, he dies like a villager, too. Oh, for the love of Craig. I swear. Gotta go through all this just to kill one simple villager knockoff. There. Oh, you can right click him for stuff too. So you can right click him and he, for one emerald he will give you a pan which you can use to cook. So there we go. Next we have deer. Oh god, it's right in my face. Hi. Who's a pretty deer? As you can see, they drop leather, some raw venison, and they have a chance to drop antlers, which is what you need to make that antler trophy up there. Finally, we have the grizzly bod. I guess it can't be summoned on peaceful folks. God dang it. Uh, so now we summon the grizzly bear, and as you can see, it's actually a pretty good model of a grizzly bear. Got the big butt. Yogi be like, hey boo boo, look at that booty today. So when we go into game mode S, obviously he becomes aggro and he does a good bit of damage. Now killing a brown bear will get you some raw venison, which I don't understand. I mean, it would give you bear meat, I guess, but maybe if it had like raw venison on it in its pocket or something. But anyway, it drops brown fur too. And um, so yeah, how about that? Oh wow, raw venison does a, gives you a lot. You know, if only I could figure out how to cook. Oh well, folks, that's not gonna work. Mm. Um, other than that, folks, there's nothing really to look into except maybe one more thing that I forgot to mention, which is this and these. But these won't. But I don't know how to make these. These stews, if I had to guess, is by taking the pan right here and placing it in the placing it in a pot wait what's this the heck we like 30 no it doesn't throw the items in your inventory that's weird that's really weird folks hang on let me see something I think I just had. I think I just found something out. So let's see. Okay, so if you set it down, it gives you all this stuff. But what does that help me with? If you put this in it, it becomes useless. Wait, if I put. Yeah, I got nothing, folks. I thought I had something, but I guess I'm just not too bright. Sooner or later, I'll get that right. But not today. Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, God, what's happening? Okay, there we go. I don't know what just happened, but okay. But as you can see, we have the hiker bag. And to use the hiker bag, I think you can put it on. Let's see? So, oh, I guess you can't see it. No, you can't see it. Okay. Well, that sucks. Because, folks, the hiker bag is used. Now you can have another uh, backpack full of space so you can carry more stuff. It's really useful, and it's also kind of helpful. 
Other than that, folks, there's nothing else to really explain except for the berries, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. There's berries and there's berry saplings. Uh, one gives you raspberries, the other gives you blackberries, hemp, and canvas. Hemp is uh, wild growing, and by using it, you get canvas, which... Wait, 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 wait. wait throw... No? Mm. Is there no canvas in there? I'm seriously curious as to why, what that's for, folks. I feel like I'm an idiot and I just don't understand it. Like, I don't know. I feel like an idiot and I just don't understand how it works. But that's spook for you. Anyway, folks, I think we're going to end it off here because I have no idea what else there is to say. Other than that, like I said, this mod is really fun. It's for 1.6.4, though. I don't think it's up to 1.7.2. So if you want to have a little fun blast of the past and you want to use this mod, I would recommend it. I would give it a four star, a four diamonds out of five on the Sableye list because it actually is really clever and it really does add some fun stuff to it. So folks, um, without further ado, I'm Spookalai and I will see you all in the next video. See you later, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Cut the camera. Cut the camera, damn it!